Patient navigators, um, what do they do? What, what all are, can, they, can they do for patient and their family? Oh, it's amazing what the navigators do. Um, you know, most of us in the medical area, we know what a pathologist is, and we know what an oncology surgeon is, and we know what an oncologist is. We know all those terms. But someone who's not been around the medical community is all at once confronted with all these physicians, with all these, these studies, and all the x-rays, and all the blood draws, and all the appointments. And the navigators can be very helpful, are very helpful in terms of helping people understand why they're having this test, where they need to go for the test, how, when's the test going to be back, and they're good at spotting problems and they communicate with us. They say, oh, you know, Mrs. Mrs. Brown is having trouble with X, Y, or Z. And so they're very important monitors. They're very important supports for the, uh, for the patient. We've expanded that program now to all the cancers. It started off as a breast cancer a navigation program with the Susan B. Komen Foundation, but now we're expanding it to all cancers. Does and everyone get one? Um, do you have to ask they're for offered, one? They're offered. They, they're offered? Okay. They're offered. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Again, patient yeah. choice. I, I just follow up on that real quickly. Mm -hmm. I think it's one simple thing is that many times the navigator speaks the language that the patient mm -hmm. and family can understand. You know, mm -hmm. as, as Dale talked about, we as providers know all those terms, but, but they do not. And, and many times, God bless the providers who are doing a wonderful job, they may not speak the same language as, as the person that's receiving. And then many times, of course, the patient is disempowered from their illness, or as I noted earlier, they, they're silent because they're having nuanced feelings. Um, so uh, I was trying to work with a, another example of that. I was trying to work with one of the hospitals as an ethicist, and, and, I, and I tried to get uh, our team involved with putting this in, in a language that the patient understood. And I have a quote from a surgeon uh, that, that just really represented why we need navigators and why families need help. And this surgeon said, I went to college, medical school, residency, and additional surgical training for a total of 13 years. How do you really expect me to talk in a language that a patient could understand? I was like, oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that wasn't I, me, wasn't <laughs> so, so, dude, that was not so long ago. So we need help, and, and we, we as uh, the patient and the family needs help, but uh, it's, it is uh, important to get a navigator. And if you don't get one assigned to you, you know, as I said, your mother, your best friend, your sister, you know, and so many times, as Larry was saying, we, do, we need to do more. Many times people will say, uh, what can I do for you? Is there anything I can do? And then and putting the, the uh, onus on the patient or their family to come up with something they can do. And instead, you know, we need to encourage people to just offer this or that, or to have a plan, or have a neighbor be in charge of what needs to be done. So those are some examples.